Barbie for you. Yeah. filming my 10 essential items and Go where are we going next? next? <laughs> where are we going next? Lewis Ho oh. School of Greatness. Yeah, that's gonna be so exciting. I follow him on Instagram. Can I just take the camera? All right. <laughs> he has all these really cool, like, it's just inspiration. It's it's people who it's focus on like well-being and lifestyle and mental health and so many really cool topics. So yeah, I'm really excited to do that. And then this evening we're going to the Players Tribune for the ESPYs. And my brother and Christy are getting here. And then the ESPYs are tomorrow. <laughs>
goes to Michaela Schifrin. experience that was. Um, one of the things that I got to do though that was so exciting was this uh, podcast with Lewis Howes for School of Greatness and one of the questions he asked which was something that I wanted to say in my speech at the ESPYs if I won and I just completely blanked and didn't remember to say this but one of the things he asked was what is greatness and I had to think about it for a while and there's so many different ways you could describe greatness but I came to this conclusion that maybe greatness is more of a feeling it's like the feeling that you get when you're part of a moment or an experience or some kind of event that just is so incredible it sends shivers up and down your spine it could be a, a moment it could be a person it could be a victory it could even be a defeat but it could be you know the moment when in defeat that person stands back up despite hardship or whatever it might be. And there's a lot of things that make you feel that sort of tingling shivers up and down your spine. And all of those things are greatness. So that's kind of the conclusion I came to. And then going throughout the evening at the ESPYs, I was looking around and also realizing that greatness really cannot exist without failure. There are billions of quotes about this since the beginning of time. You know the typical success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts by Winston Churchill. And that is like, there's been variations on variations of that exact quote for ever, since the beginning of time. And it's the truth. It's not one of the most powerful quotes in the world that we've ever known for no reason. It's really, really true. And when we go to those things like the ESPYs and I see all of the greatest athletes of this generation and past generations all in one room celebrating each other, celebrating victories and successes and incredible moments and comebacks and, and record setting performances. And, and we're sitting there, you know, celebrating all of that. And I'm like, there's not, there's not one moment in this evening that really talks about how much failure plays a role in that. And it was one of the biggest takeaways that I had from this season, from the last three, four seasons, 12 years of my career, and especially from the ESPYs, is not to forget how much of a role the challenges and the defeats and the failure and the frustration and the struggle, how much of a role that plays in our ability to then have success and appreciate success more. and. Uh, for me, if I took away anything else from anything at all, if I took away anything at all from the ESPYs, it would be that. 